You were made out of plastic, fake. I was tangled up in your drastic ways. Who knew evil girls had the prettiest face? You gave me a heart that was full of. Hey, what's up, guys? Back again with another video. So, uh, this time we're going to be doing a static and the final keywords in Java. And they're, they're both very simple, but the, the final one is like really, really simple. But this one, uh, static, is kind of complex, not really, but uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So, we'll, let's uh, make a class here. So class um, potato, and then uh, so inside of class potato we can have many things. So there's four ways to use static. You can either use it with a method, a variable, or a simple block of code, or um, what was that last one? Um, or nested classes. But uh, anyway, so. We're just gonna do it with the variables, methods, and the block thingy. So um, anyway, so the simplest one is actually the block. So what you do with this is do static inside of your class, and then you just have a, a like that. That's all you gotta do. And so what this does is, as soon as your object is created of that class, then this is run basically. So we can just um, anything inside there will be run. So let's I'll put like um, yum or something stupid. So if we run this now, it won't do anything because we didn't make a new object of that class, right? So if, let's go ahead and do that. So potato jerry equals new potato. So now, as soon as this is created, um, it'll do that. It'll run that piece of code right there. So let's go ahead and try this multiple times. Give these new names, of course, because they're multiple objects. Then it'll only run once. Interesting. I actually didn't know that. But anyway point is that uh yeah so that's what you do with that and the next one is with um variables of course so static int um number equals 50 right so what this allows you to um this allows you to access um the variables without um the object ever being made so outside of the thingy so what you do to access this if the object's not even there how would you access it well all you got to do is reference the class so potato dot number and now you have access to it um, so you could you know set it to something so it's 10 right or what you could do is uh, potato uh, you could print it out right you know, do anything you want so let's print out number then we get 10 because we set it to, to uh, 10 right there so anyway that's how you do that really simple really simple right so and then the last really important uh, way to do this is with methods. So static void um, uh, multiply number. And then let's give it a number thing we could use. So let's have a parameter, right? So number and then um, salt um, number times two. You know, just a random method. It doesn't matter what the method is, but the point is it has static, right? So with that, it's the exact same thing. We can access it by using the class reference. But of course, if we have an object declared, we can still access it the same way. It works everything the same way, but you don't even need that if you want to do it this way. So multiply number 50. So what that should do if we cover this with a out is print out uh, 50 times two. Oh wait, no we don't. Actually, we don't need to surround it because it's, uh, of course, it's outputting inside of it. So anyway, so let's run that and it should print out 100. So that's good. Okay, the point is, you can access the members, which are the methods and the variables, uh, independent of having an object. So if we don't have an object, we can still use it. It's perfectly fine. But um, you might be wondering, why would we want this um, whenever we declare an object? Well, this can allow you to, um, usually it's used to um, initialize um, variables. So let me show you, let's make a whole new uh, class here. So let's make an example program. So this will be called um, the class static example, just whatever you want, right? And so inside of that, let's have some stuff. So we'll have static integer a equals three. And we'll have another one static it's B, right? And B is not declared, uh, it doesn't have a value, right? So what we can do is have the static here, so static. And inside of here, we can have some output, you know, static block initialize. So it's saying that this was run right, uh, right there, right? And then uh, 
then we could use uh, this to do times four. So what usually people do is initialize their uh, their variables with the static block. Usually that's what they do, I guess. So um, yeah, so that's what we set B to be. So anything else, maybe like static and C, we would set C to here if we didn't set it initially here. Or we can, we can even change A if we want to. We could do whatever we want, literally whatever you want, all right? So um, that's what we could do with that. And then, uh, all right, so um, let's have a method here. So static, static void um, cool method. And then within that method, uh, int x, so giving a parameter, of course. Um, and then you're outputting, let's just output everything. So we can output x, we'll just uh, do that. X, A, plus B, right? So we're just outputting all the values that we have, right? So all pretty simple. So now let's put this in our main method here. Let's just have, uh, let's just run this little method right here. And we could do, we can't, uh, I mean like this, oops. It's static example dot cool method 50. So actually, um, I forgot to mention that you don't have to declare a new object to run this this uh, static block here. It's just whenever you call any of the methods or stuff like that. So for example, let's say we run or call A, right? Let's see if that does anything. Oops. Let's output A, I guess, so static example. Yeah, so that also uh, does a, so whenever you call upon the class for any reason, this will also um, do the static block. So I forgot to mention that, sorry, but you know, it's, it's, it's all simple. So um, so whenever you call a new object or a call this class block, then it'll do the static block here. So anyway, so um, yeah, I'll get the point, I guess. So yep, that's how we do that. Um, so with the static, with the members, don't forget that you can access them outside of the objects. You can access them with the class. So anyway, let's um, do the, the final keyword now. So the final keyword is pretty, pretty simple. Um, it's just how you make constants. If you work with any other languages before that had constants in it, maybe for maybe like JavaScript or something, uh, constant values are variables that cannot be changed. So once you set them to be something and they're, they have the keyword final, then you cannot change them. So usually when you declare a final variable, you want, um, the convention is to have them all caps. That's just pe what people use. So uh, yeah, and then have like underscore, underscore of course, like usual. So like something like this. So final int um, number of wheels equals four. And so now that we have final keyword, this will never change. So let's try let's try setting this to be something, right? Number. I mean, we can't even access it. Looks like number of wheels. Yeah, we can't even. It doesn't even suggest it. So we can't even do that. So yeah, it won't ever change, so that's all pretty simple. So we can do this with anything, like strings maybe, uh, you know, just whatever we want. So string, it can never change, so yeah. Um, so this can also be done with uh, methods, uh, method parameters. So if we want to make a method here, let's try doing, oops. So let's make a method, so void, uh, print something. <laughs> Sorry, my little brother trying to learn how to use OBS. Okay, he likes Roblox. He wants to record Roblox for some reason. So anyway, um, so this will print something out. Um, we'll give it a, hmm. So we're testing parameters, right? So we'll give it a parameter of final int um, something to print. And I didn't follow naming conventions here, but you know, you get the point. So we have a variable, it's final, so it cannot be changed. So that means that within this whole method, we cannot edit it. Um, so uh, let's try that. So something to print, we can reference it unlike out here, but that's just to be able to set it though. So let's set it to like five. We can't do that. Um, and what I mean by the accessing it to set it, it's just when we're having like um, int uh, test, 
right? And then we're using this to set something. So test equals something to print. So we can do it that way, but we cannot set the value of something to print equal to 50, for example. It just doesn't work because it's final. It's a constant. Constant means it can't change. And uh, an example for this, um, in physics, we have constants. Um, like the constant for gravity um, is a big, big, or a small number. I forgot if it's a big number or a small number. But anyway, um, it cannot be changed. And uh, yeah, so anyway, um, I rambled a lot. So y'all get the point, static and final, it's really simple. So if you liked it, um, subscribe. If you want to see more, leave a like. If you want to join the Discord, it's in the description. And yeah, so peace.